All right, guys, MB550 versus Duke 550. What's the difference? Which one's better? And which one's worth the money? Let's go ahead and dig into it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. And as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a bunch of free freaking bait, okay? Before the trap season gets here, I'm gonna give away a bunch of bait for you guys so you can use it. You know, maybe it's a bait you've never used before and you get to use it for free. So I'm picking a bunch of different winners, a bunch of winners. So click that subscribe button, give me a like on here, and let's jump into it. But I'm also gonna uh, throw in a pretty cool hunt that me and my buddy had the other week, or the other day before our video this. Uh, a few days ago, anyway, I'm gonna throw that in here so y'all enjoy the hunt and then stay tuned for the trap. What is going on, guys? We are just now getting off work. It is 88 degrees outside. My buddy has got a buck that has been showing up on his camera very consistently um, the past maybe three or four days in the evening time. So we are headed to his house right now, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it all gets comes together and works out right. And uh, he can get a, his second buck or third buck or whatever it is. Uh, definitely his biggest buck with a bow on the ground. So y'all sit, sit back, stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you in the blind. All right, guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna to go over the Duke 550 trap and the MB 550, Minnesota brand 550 trap. Which one's worth the money? Which one's better? And how they resemble each other and you know which one you should spend your money on this trap season, depending on you know which way you should go. If you're not trying to spend a lot, whatever. We're gonna get into it right now. So this is a Duke 550. This is MB550. And from the start, what I can see is that, like, from the very, like, just, just looking at them, you know, without going into major detail, the only thing that I can really see the difference in is the pans. So, on the MB550, the pan is round, as you can see right there, a little bit. It is round. On the Duke 550, it is square. So, that's what we got 
first off and uh, I'm actually gonna slip the camera around real quick to where you can see what I'm seeing. All right, there we go. You can kind of see the difference in them right there. So this is the Duke and this is the uh, Minnesota brand 550. And like I said, the difference right off the get-go is square pan and a round pan. And I mean, you look at the jaws and they're literally the exact same just about. I mean, literally, the exact same. There's very... <clears throat> okay, I'm going to zoom in for this one, so y'all bear with me. Okay, so I can see the difference right here. This is what I'm looking at right here next to the... This piece, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, there you go. Now you can see the difference in them. This is uh, Duke. This is MV. Try to get it to focus on the right spot there. There you go. You can see the difference there a little bit. Not much of a difference. I mean, really, it's not... Lot. Let's go on down the side right here and see if there's much difference. Okay, so on the MB you got this little opening gap right here. You see that on the Duke you don't have that. I mean it's kind of squared off really. Honest to God, they're literally almost the same exact thing. So we got Thick cast iron jaws right there. Uh, double, too cold. Both of them too cold. Look exactly the same. They're night latched. I mean, literally, guys. They're both center swiveled. And they have the um, second brakes on them as well. I mean, it's literally almost the exact same trap. I'm trying to sit here and find differences between these two traps. I don't see nothing. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, y'all hold on just a second. I'm going to set these traps and see there's a difference in like how flat they lay. So we got these traps set and uh, let's we'll see if they're, <laughs> I'm going to eyeball it really. I mean, that's set flat, flat. You can look at that yourselves. Right there, how flat. It's a little bit sticking on, sticking up on the end, but not very much at all. And there's a difference, I guess. Your MB is sitting absolutely parallel to it. I mean, it is. That MB is perfect flat. This one's just set just a little bit. A little bit higher. Let's just say that again. But it ain't, I'm telling you, it ain't enough to make me, you know, not buy them. So I'm sure you want to know, like, what's the price difference. So let me look that up real quick. So the MB550 is $21. Like I said, $21. You know how much the Duke is? The Duke 550, which is literally same exact chain, same exact swivel points, same jaws. Same, uh, you know, embrace uh, plate on the bottom, night latched, same measurements as far as the the jaw, excuse me, the jaw, you know, size. The only difference is the pans, square versus circle. MB550, Duke. 16 bucks. 16 bucks. I'm not the greatest at math, but that's five dollars per trap That you're saving five dollars And when you're buying like not many people buy like one trap when they buy traps they're usually buying a dozen two dozen three dozen maybe they'll buy like a half a dozen here and there and uh you start doing five dollars a trap, which they do have deal a little bit of a better deal, you know, per trap uh, when you buy in quantity, like everything else, uh, typically. But like, it's right there, still at five dollars mark, pretty much per trap that you're saving. I'm telling you, the Duke. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth every penny of it. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about this trap. I used it all year last year, trapping season. I bought uh, 24 of them. And I uh, used a bunch of them, uh, those traps. And honestly, like, they performed great. I had no issues with uh, coyotes or foxes getting out of them. Um, 
no problems with the traps getting fired and going off. Uh, no plop, plop, trop. Golly, I cannot talk when I make these videos. I get so tongue twisted. I had no problem setting these things in the ground to get them to set in bed solid. Literally had no problem with them at all. Uh, no foot damage to the animal. You know, once I got, like, I, I, you know, when you go to get them out of the trap or anything, like, literally, you pick. You make your own decision. But with me, I'm with the Duke traps, and that's all I got to say about it. So, uh, let me know in the comments which one you guys like better. Like, do you like the Duke trap better? You like the MB550? Uh, which one's your uh, go to? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, if you will, click that subscribe button. Like I said, throw me a like down there. Trap season is getting closer and closer every day in the middle of October right now. And uh, we'll be throwing traps in the ground before you know it. So, y'all stick around for the new videos up to come. We'll see you later. Y'all take it easy.